and they're away. Hasba shows early on. Waterwell over on the far side. Harder Joy coming to join the lead now. Hasba from Waterwell and Harder Joy with chimes of freedom in four. Then comes uh, May We for France in five. Model Village comes next. And Farrow's Delight is the back marker of the septet. And Hasbar's making it from Waterwell and Harder Joy within fourth place. Chimes of freedom. Still, Hasbar with that sheepskin noseband showing prominently in the lead. That's Waterwell towards the outside. Harder Joy just in behind him. May We has made a little bit of progress towards the outside. Steve Cawthon now on Chimes of Freedom. Still has Bar from Waterwell. Harder Joy. Chimes of Freedom. May We, Model Village and Pharaoh's Delight. As they race now into the home turn. Still has Bar with the lead from Heart of Joy, travelling very sweetly on the inside. Waterwell on the outside, Chimes of Freedom, and uh, Steve Cawthon still to move towards the outside. May Wee's making a little bit of progress. Has Bar now from Chimes of Freedom making ground towards the stand side. Between horses is Heart of Joy. It's Has Bar now from Chimes of Freedom. Chimes of Freedom and Steve Cawthon quickening now. Chimes of Freedom take it up now inside the final furlong. From Hasbar and Heart of Joy and May We racing up towards the line. Number three here for Steve Cawthon at the Royal Meeting. Chimes of Freedom wins it in dazzling style. Hasbar is second and third. Is Heart of Joy and four May We. And then came Pharaoh's Delight and Waterwell and Model Village. And so the result of the 1990 Coronation Stakes. A dazzling victory for number one, Chimes of Freedom. Owned by Mr. Stavros Niarchus. Trained by Henry Cecil and written by Steve Cawthon, number 50 this for uh, at Royal Ascot for Henry Cecil. Second uh, was number two, Hasbar, owned by Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum, trained by Tom Jones at Newmarket and written by Richard Hills. And third was number three, Heart of Joy, owned by Mr. John C. Maybe, trained by Michael Stout and written by Walter Swinburn. Fourth was the French challenger, May We, but this is the winner, the clear winner, winner of five of her seven races now. And here's how she won it. And this was the answer to the question we asked. Could she come back to her best? She's back with a bang. A brilliant performance. Heart of Joy, never really travelling easily. Walter Swinburne's gone for his whip at the two furlong marker. She wasn't going to pick up for him. She's had one too many run on firm ground. She tries, she puts her head down, but she can't even pull back Hasper. But look at the brilliant run by Chimes of Freedom on the outside. When Steve Cawthon asks her to go, she picks up and shows that brilliant acceleration that she showed as a two-year-old. She's come right back to her very best and quickly puts distance between herself and the runner-up. Heart of Joy runs on so bravely in third place, but she just hasn't got the resources after a tough early season campaign. But the further they go, the further Chimes of Freedom wins. A really sparkling win for this filly, and she's won by five or six lengths.